Well, how you doing? Back again after the trip from Florida. It's now the middle of uh, April, is it right? Is that right? Yes. Right. The, okay. Middle of April. Actually, the end. <laughs> it's what? End of April? Yeah, I don't like even know what. I don't two know more what weeks date. left. I don't know. I pay attention to dates. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, um, we had a great time in Florida. I just want to touch base before we get into all this stuff. <clears throat> I had a great time in Florida. Things are great. And then we came back, and a few weeks later, we had the cabin fever, which was good this year. And I'd like to mention that uh, 27 people recognized me from YouTube that I don't ever heard of before. I know a lot of other people, but 27 people. But there was one guy, and I hope you're out there watching my videos, and one guy, and this is one particularly for you. I sat down, empty seat in another seat, and we were watching the auction, and I'm sitting there waiting for my part to come up to bid on, and this other fellow, for about 15, 20 minutes, he gets up, he walks past me, and he says, I like your videos, but you talk too much. Well, I said, no, I don't. And he says, yes, you do. And he walked away. Well, you know, oh, well, if you don't like I talk too much, too bad. Anyway, then we got past that. So now, what I'm about to do, like I mentioned I was going to do, is we're going to make a furnace. We're going to make a, a crucible furnace. Now, I don't know if you can see this. We got these bags of cement. No, let me pull this thing out of the way here. Can you see that? Can you see that in the picture? Yep. Okay. What this is, is the framework, and it's got a bottom on it with a hole in the middle for a drain. And you need to have that in case the crucible, um, uh, in case the crucible breaks or something like that happens, then you're not going to, uh, you're not going to, uh, fill up the bottom of the of the of the of the furnace with metal will run out the bottom and then just go on the ground. Now this right here is a is a I think they call these sauna tubes. This is eight inch. Now one thing I did find out about these things is that when you measure these they could be seven inches. They could be nine inches. It could be eight inches like this one. And it says eight inches on there. So whoever built made these things is doesn't know how to count or can't read a ruler because they're all they're all different. They're not exactly eight inches. So when you want to build one, you gotta have you gotta measure it. Now, this thing that you're seeing here is what's called a hobby melter, and I'll put the uh, website where you can find it. The guy's name is Lionel Oliver II, and he makes these things. Now I didn't want to bother making it because I just don't have the time, and it was made for me for two hundred dollars. You get this the pot here. You get this piece. The whole thing here, this is going to be, eventually, it's going to be filled with this refractory stuff, you see. And then this goes like this. And here, that's a reinforcement. And then, of course, that's going to be the lid. And when, you know, when you want to, ready to pour your metal, you pull this back and let this go back like that to the ground. Like that, and it just sits there. And then you take your tongs and whatnot, take your crucible. Oh, I don't have the crucible, I'm waiting for that. But... These, that's in a picture, right? Yep. All right. What that is right there is three bags of refractory, <clears throat> and he gives you where to get this stuff. It's uh, it's on the it's on the website where to get this stuff. I had to go over to Pennsylvania and get this stuff. It's three bags, fifty-five pounds each, and it's about a dollar a pound. So he's one hundred fifty-five dollars there each bag, or one hundred one hundred and sixty-three dollars for all three bags, and. Uh, this is 3,000 degree stuff, so this is what we're going to use to fill this furnace. Now on the website, on the Hoppy Melter website, shows you how to do this. He's probably going to get mad at me for saying that because it took me a month to get this stuff, and he's like overwhelmed with, with orders, which I'm happy about, so he's going to be more overwhelmed now. Anyway, um, uh, this is all preparation for doing um, my own lost wax castings. As you know, we've been talking about doing it. And um, this is part of it. I have a, over there on the table over there. We have a, a burnout oven, which I have. I can put these are the flasks here. I can put six of these in in the oven at one time, which is nice. And uh, and we're doing the wax. We got this table set up. I set this table up to make my waxes. And we got the molds here, and uh, we tree them up, and then we put them in the investment. Now I also have. I bought this thing here off the internet. This is a vacuum pump. And I believe this is, it tells you on the side, is a two-stage pump. 
and it's six cubic feet a minute vacuum. This, this free air displacement, six cubic feet. It's 110 volts, and I gotta hook that up. And then we have the bell jar, which I'll show you that in a minute. We get this out of here. This is thing here. I, I didn't take it out of the plastic yet. Right this is the this is the bell jar, and you need this to evacuate the uh, air out of the molds. So that's going to be part of it. And then I have a over here in this other over here in this other on the other place over here. I'm going to take it out. Show show people. This is what's called gum rubber. I got this from Rio Grande. This is 24 by 24 and it's about a quarter inch thick and it's got a hole in the middle. Right here, a little hole. And that's where you put the tube for the vacuum. Then you set this on top of a piece of wood. And then of course your 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 uh, bell jar goes on top of that. And then you uh, uh, evacuate the air out of the mold and it gets all the air out of, out of the vestment. And then it's okay. And then we're going to burn it out after that. Well, do I think, Phil? What you tell me? I don't know. Okay. All right. Anyway. Okay. So that's what I've been working on. By the way, for all of this, you get all of this. The little stand for it. The wheels made out of aluminum, and you get this. This is the burner. It's called the Ryle R E I L Ron Real burner. He invented this thing, and you're going to hook the propane up to here, and then the air goes in there, mixes, and it shoots out of the flame. And it's on an angle in here. It's not like it doesn't come straight in the middle like this. It's more or less on the side, so it swirls around the crucible. And now the other thing I got to do is from this same stuff here, I got to make what's called a plinth block. Now this is a piece of four-inch cardboard tubing that I'm going to put whatever when I'm making this here. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the uh, refractory in there and make these little blocks. They sit on the bottom, cover the hole that's in the bottom. And then also, it raises it up so that the thing's not right directly on the bottom, so it gets the heat all over the whole thing. So whenever I got these prepared, I'll make a few more out of this too. And uh, whatever investor, you don't want to waste that stuff. As you use the west one up, you got a little bit left over, you make some of these plinth blocks. I'm going to make some more, just let them sit around. And uh, once, I'm going to show how I'm going to make this. This is just a preliminary. We're going to start making this thing. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it, how, how, how it's built. Uh, right now, before we start, Giselle's going to paint this. She's back there. You paint. The, you're the painter, right? Yes. I'm okay. We're going to paint this. We're going to spray paint this part, and we're going to brush paint that part with some high temperature some barbecue stuff. We're going to spray it up and just just make it look nice so it don't rust. And I'm going to. The wheels are castings, and they don't bother cleaning them up. So I'm going to throw them on the lathe and just smooth them off. They look a little bit better. But otherwise, it's made out of this rebar, which is okay. It's a cheap way to go, but it works. And I felt for $200 it was worth it to do this rather than have to make it and all that stuff. So it's, it's already done for me. I could have made it, obviously, but I didn't feel like doing it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start making, start mixing up the stuff. And we're going to start building this thing over the next several days and a week or so. And then we have to dry it out. We'll show you how to do all that. And that's in preparation for making our own wax wax castings here. We need to do is I need to get um, some tongs. I need to make tongs. I need to make a pouring, called a pouring shank. I need to get some uh, fire bricks, and we had to set up the oven because at the moment it's not. It was set up. Uh, I bought it off of um, uh, Craigslist, and the, the guy I got it from did enameling. He wasn't doing it anymore. But this furnace will take up to 14, 15. 100 degrees, 1800 degrees, it'll go that high. But what I wanted to do, I bought a, what's called a PIP, P-I-P, I forget what, what the initials stand for. But what it does is, it'll ramp up. It's, it's a ramping control. So it'll start out and go up to 200 and stay there for an hour and burn all the wax out of the molds. And then it'll continually ramp slowly up to 1500, gets up to 1500, and then it'll come back down to 500 and hover at 500. So the plan is, after I invest in one day, put them in the oven before I leave here, turn the oven on. When I come back the next day, we're going to cast. It'll be ready to cast. And uh, I'll fire up the furnace, put my metal in and whatever, get it all molten, and then just bring one at a time out of the oven. I had to make a vacuum chamber to pull the vacuum down. That's another story. 
We'll make that up, and, and then we'll start making the casting. We've got a lot to go yet, but this is part of it. And I'm hoping, by some stroke of luck, we'll be able to make some castings by the end of May. Sometime in May. We're another month from now. So um, this is just a preliminary first um, video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I like my videos. We just passed a million views, which... In some circles, that's not a lot, but for me, that's a lot. I just think a million people have seen me all over the world, and uh, I, I enjoyed uh, I enjoy making the videos. So um, we'll now continue to, to continue on. So uh, the next phase of this will be to make the put the refractory in there and make the make the furnace. So uh, we'll see you when that starts. So thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to my videos, and uh, uh, we'll see you again on our next video. Thanks for watching.